Hello wrestling fans, the wrestling wizard here and welcome to another video. So Uncle Howdy has finally returned alongside the sinister Wyatt Six, Uncle Howdy's new faction and this did not disappoint. I was skeptical about how I was going to feel about continuing on the Bray Wyatt legacy but Taylor did not disappoint his brother. His brother is going to be up in heaven smiling it was emotional honestly i shed a couple of tears i've probably watched this about 50 times over honestly i'm such a mark but hey i can't tell you how much i've wanted to hear the fiends shut down music play again and of course we got that from the opening of this segment the fiends shut down music the fireflies in full force and not only that the shatter theme the initial part of that theme played the piano on continuous loop which was really, really touching because it proves that Bray Wyatt lives on forever. You can't kill Bray Wyatt. His spirit lives on. That played on continuous loop. And then, of course, we got the Firefly Funhouse door open. Of course, we know that door was already open. We saw Bray Wyatt, of course, numerous times come out of that door. But we knew we were going to see some form of new reveal. Were the Firefly Funhouse puppets going to come to life. Everything that was in the creative genius mind of Wyndham Rotunda was potentially going to come to life. And we saw the first character emerge. Nikki Cross portraying what seems to be Abby the Witch crawling towards the lantern, which I thought was a really nice touch. Sort of the lantern signifying Bray Wyatt. The Bray Wyatt lives on. The physical presentation of this version of Abby the Witch really really cool and of course she pointed to the door we knew there was going to be more to be revealed and we got more of a reveal it moved on to what we knew was going to be another member revealed but before that look at the plug socket the plug socket sort of symbolizes a, a gas mask of some sorts which is funny because we'll come on to that in a moment but then of course we got the rambling rabbit reveal that hammer, again, another touching tribute with the words help, which of course we saw in the Firefly Funhouse with Rambling Rabbit. The circle, of course, the red circle on the hammer as well. I thought that was another touching tribute. And talking about tributes, if you flip Rambling Rabbit round in reverse, the way we initially saw him introduced, you can certainly see the touching tribute to the late Luke Harper. That got me. I shed a tear there. And of course, it's clear to see this is Eric Rowan portraying Rambling Rabbit, the Firefly Funhouse puppets coming to life. There was also a bunch of bodies on the floor. Maybe the Wyatt Six and this whole massacre angle is going after heel wrestlers, potentially. We'll have to wait and see. We don't know a lot at this stage. And then it panned to another room backstage. Lights flickering, blue and red lights, which took me back to the Bray Wyatt promo way back when, when he talked about being a servant and he just goes where the circle takes him, signifying potentially good and bad, potentially. And then, of course, we saw more bodies laid out left, right, and center. A lot of blood on the wall, a sneaky Wyatt Six logo reveal. And then, clearly, clearly, this was to be revealed as Mercy the Buzzard, which we assume is being portrayed by Dexter Loomis. Real cool detail with that mask. Looks absolutely epic. And then it panned on to a creepy figure standing in the hallway with a pig gas mask on kind of thing. And I'm pretty sure, of course, that signifies Huskus the pig boy being portrayed by Joe Gacy. More bodies on the floor, but one body in particular that it zoomed in on, a bloodshot of Chad Gable. Chad Gable uh, doesn't look in a good way there, does he, to be honest with you? And then, of course, the crowd roared, the moment that we've been waiting for. Taylor Rotunda, a.k.a. Bo Dallas, portraying Uncle Howdy. The return of Uncle Howdy. A slightly tweaked presentation of Uncle Howdy, which I really, really dig with the dreadlocks. But let's go through some significant points. The first time we saw Uncle Howdy upon his return, he delivered the Bray Wyatt pose. And then the circle pose. And talking of circles, you can see the red circle on the top of Uncle Howdy's hat as well. I thought that was a really touching tribute to, of course, the Bray Wyatt storyline of previous. And personally, in my opinion, I think this presentation of Uncle Howdy is much more badass. I love 
the dreadlocks of course again another tribute to Bray Wyatt and also a flashback because if you go all the way back to the Bray Wyatt storyline of previous remember this version on the Titan Tron of Uncle Howdy is this the version we're seeing from Bo Dallas portraying this version of Uncle Howdy now I think it's more just carrying on the legacy of Bray Wyatt with a tribute with the dreadlocks so it kind of continues that legacy on via Uncle Howdy because remember Uncle Howdy was part of Bray Wyatt's psyche and all of that and another little detail I love is the fact that Uncle Howdy is just wearing Bray Wyatt's or should we say the Fiend's hurt glove screw the hill there's no hill going on here this is full-on hurt and a massacre has arrived absolutely epic and then of course he looks at Huskus and then they walk to the ramp the fans went nuts they go towards the lantern he picks up the lantern and claims we're here and again it's just so so cool seeing this come together and visually this faction just looks badass now i'm assuming this is five members plus one in the lantern signifying bray white bray white is part of the Wyatt six or potentially down the line we see alexa bliss join the fold but we'll have to wait and see maybe alexa bliss isn't going to be part of this after all and maybe it's those five physical members plus the spirit of bray white who knows we're gonna to have to wait and see what do you think what do you think about the return i think it was absolutely epic do you know what it was tough to watch because obviously it was very very emotional but at the same time it delivered taylor rotunda rob Fianco, you delivered you smashed it out of the park and you made a lot of us bray wyatt fans of old extremely happy and I'm looking forward to seeing what goes on with this faction in the future. How this continues. It seems like Chad Gable is the first victim. Thank you so much for watching the video. As always, it'd be very much appreciated if you could like the video, share the video, and even better, subscribe if you're new. Catch you in the next one.